say it was. We did break an afternoon high record. We hit 89 degrees today, so it'll still be nice and mild through the rest of this evening. 82 degrees by 7 o'clock, 70s by 9 o'clock, and 60s by 11 o'clock. And we have partly cloudy skies out there now. Up in the high country, it looks about the same. We've been dry and windy all across the state. Definitely high winds across central and southern Colorado for today. It'll be cooler tomorrow and breezy as a cold front makes its way through the state. We also have high fire danger continuing to the south. Not much moisture headed our way. No really significant bouts of rain or snow, but we do have a little more on the seven day forecast after the beginning of next week. Our observed highs today, 89 degrees, that record afternoon high. It broke our previous record of 87 degrees for the day. 90s across the eastern plains and also 90s into southeastern Colorado with 60s and 70s for the high country. At this point, we're still in the 80s and 90s across the southeastern part of our state and the eastern plains. 98 still in Lamar. We have 60s and 70s up toward Aspen, Leadville, 49 now in Steamboat. We have that cooler air sinking in from the northwest as we speak, so we're going to be experiencing that tomorrow as our highs drop out of the upper 80s and 90s down into the 70s. The winds have been pretty gusty today, and we have high fire danger uh, expected into tomorrow down into southern Colorado. But right now we have 49 mile an hour gusts in Broomfield, 25 in Boulder, and 45 for Berthoud Pass, also 40 for Kenosha Pass, and 49 for Fort Morgan. So really pretty windy all across the state. High fire danger not only for today for the Front Range, but into tomorrow for southern Colorado as that red flag warning continues. High uh, wind advisory for high winds into tomorrow. For Western Colorado, also a high wind watch has been issued by the National Weather Service for Sunday night into Monday. These winds down into Southern Colorado could be as high as 60 to 80 miles an hour Sunday night, so keep an eye out for that. As for this cold front, it's just now making its way into Northwestern Colorado. We also have a few scattered showers out ahead of the front of this up towards Sterling, but it will remain dry here in Denver. So we're expecting afternoon highs after the highs in the 80s today. We'll have temperatures in the 70s through 8 and 9 o'clock into the 50s and 60s as we get closer to midnight. With an overnight low of 45 degrees and partly cloudy skies. So as you're waking up tomorrow morning, mostly 40s early on, we'll have 30s and 40s for the higher elevations and it'll still be breezy tomorrow, but the Mother's Day planner looks excellent. We'll have 67 degrees by noon, 72 by two o'clock with that afternoon high around 77 degrees, which is about 10 degrees still above normal for this time of year. So we'll have 70s and 80s here for northeastern Colorado, still some 90s for the southeastern part of our state and 70s toward Cortez and Durango. Pagosa Springs at 71 and also 79 for Grand Junction tomorrow. Highs all along the I-25 corridor, mostly in the mid to upper 70s for the day. And that cold front making its way through Colorado tonight. So by tomorrow, that cooler air will have made its way into the state. And we have another cold front and storm system coming our way from the west. So the winds will increase again into the beginning of next week. Then we have chances for some rain and some snow coming our way to Colorado by the time we get to the end of this coming week. As for tomorrow, we'll have 77 for our afternoon high 78 and windy on Monday. If you're going to be up in the mountains here for Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday, temperatures will be mostly in the 50s and 60s with partly cloudy skies. But as we get into the middle of the week, we're back to 82 degrees again on Wednesday. Chances for storms by the end of the week.